Hey guys, it's Damon here and I was able to take the time to go to an indoor field because in the Chicago area we've been getting below zero temperatures and I wanted to go and do some test flights for you guys with multiple different blades. Well, I was only able to get through two because the first original blades went extraordinarily, extraordinarily well and then when I flew the Pet G blades, well, they ended up in a catastrophe and I'll explain why later in the video. Enjoy the flights. All right, hey guys, so these are the original Goose Guy blades and we'll see how they fly. So these definitely flew a lot better, a lot uh, more agility to them, and you could definitely feel a difference between the 3D printed blades and these original ones, but not bad. I actually, uh, they perform extremely well. I was able to throw it around. It actually ended up feeling as if I had the original frames, not saying that they did perform as the original Goose Guy S2, but I couldn't really tell a difference in the parts now let's get to the video you guys all been waiting for the pet g blades all right guys this flight is going to be uh the pet g blades that were printed perpendicularly to the uh bed of the frame i'm she's i keep saying frame the bed perpendicular to the bed where it has that smooth top and bottom uh surface finish but the edges are quite rough so i purposely didn't uh, do anything to these edges, so we'll see how they fly just right off the bed.
So this is what it means to be in the testing phase, I guess. So you could tell a ton of broken parts, landing skids, frames, the motor ended up ripping off. I couldn't find all the parts. Uh, yeah, so this is the first part of the helicopter, mostly all on the turf. You can see that the cables ripped straight from the motor, not even a chance of being able to solder them back on, even if I wanted to. So those are the first parts. Here is the entire mess, completely self-destructed. You can see the motor wire is just completely entangled. All the parts are completely gone. The, the wire is unplugged. Here's the cable for the tail motor. And all the rest of the pieces of the main blade. And yeah, not much to this helicopter. If you see the, the servos still work, this one in particular looks yeah, pretty gritty, so I might need new servos, and this elevator servo looks good. But all in all, it looks absolutely horrible. Hopefully I can get this back up to working condition, not something I was expecting. But what can you do? So yeah, that was a pretty nasty crash. I'll try to slow it down for you guys. And there's two theories that I might have. It's either the fact that I printed the blades perpendicularly to the bed and they split and couldn't handle the stress because I ended up t you, uh, flying uh, in a TikTok maneuver and it just was flexing so much that they split. But the second theory that I'm more so sticking with, the actual tail boom looks to me that it has some blade strikes. And for me, it was a tail boom strike, ripped off the tail boom, flew out, and then everything else kind of came tumbling down. But I was able to untangle the motor cables, so the main motor cables are good. I haven't been able to turn this on yet, but with further investigation of uh, the electronics, I might need to buy two more ser two servos in because one of them, as I mentioned in the video, I don't know if you could hear that. If you can, it, it, it's pretty gritty. So instead of replacing the gears inside the servo, I might just replace the servo entirely. And then one of the wires in a second servo, the wiring internally got cut. I don't know how that happened, but I'll give you guys a close-up shot here. And I don't think this is salvageable. salvageable. I could try cutting the cable and resoldering it, but I just don't want to risk it. So. Back to my theory of these 3D printed blades. They are good for basic flights. I wouldn't 3D these blades at all. I was a little too comfortable after coming off the original blades and how the helicopter was maneuvering. And I went into that same flight with the same mentality of the aggressiveness. I'm really trying to push this helicopter to the limit. As you can tell, it's completely destroyed. And 3D printed blades, they're, they're fun, they're great. It's, it's nice to be able to, you know, print your own blades at home, but I would not fly them aggressively, if not at all, in a acrobatic way. Unless you're absolutely trying to hover and learn your orientations as a beginner and maybe flip it once and it fly, fly inverted to practice your inverted maneuvers, but the, the more aggressive you are in flight with the 3D printed blades, as I had mentioned in my previous videos, I can easily see them blade striking. And that's exactly what happened here. So I'm going to work on getting all my parts printed again, which won't be an issue and I'll be working on ordering some more parts 
to be able to replace the electronics that didn't work out too well. The, the, I, haven't, I haven't plugged everything in to, to test it out, but I'm assuming I have two bad servos. So yeah, lesson learned. It's part of the R&D process. I'm not trying to make you guys run away from 3D printing your own helicopter, but it looks much worse than it actually is. And yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on on the on the on the rest of the build. So if you guys like this type of content, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.